A moment of your time, good sir. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're a mercenary, yes? The one I've heard so much about? Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault, within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away, was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes! That Angel of the Slums! So, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. That's all I needed to know. Here, you can have this. It's a map to the Angel's very own secret hideout. <sighs> What are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneo's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. It is a desire that transcends the professional. Could it be love? If you learn anything at all, I demand that you tell me. I'm dying to find out who the Angel of the Slums really is. If you learn anything at all, I demand that you tell me. They're nothing.
I know you. You're that Merc, the one everyone in town's been talking about. Take a deep breath and calm down, kiddo. I'm Mireille. Just another old woman who likes to talk and loves to listen. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now how'd you know about that? <laughs> well, there's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact-check this one myself. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's not here. If the Angel of the Slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that gill is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically, if you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Easy. Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the street says the Angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat. Girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. Ugh. That journalist's a real pain in the ass. Kyrie sticks out like a sore thumb. Look for striped stockings and a big old hat. You won't find anything here, I checked. Ugh. That journalist's a real pain in the ass. in this quick. First it was the reaction.
option. This round is Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand. Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is... <laughs> I got mugged! She took it! Took it all, man! <sighs> I tried to chase her down, I really did! But she was real fast-like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro! <sighs> What'd she look like? Bro! Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah! She was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. You know how many allowances this one stupid ticket cost me? And this is the thanks I get. Looked like she was hurt real bad, so I stopped to help. Hey there, man. You into music? I screwed up an order of discs, sitting on a mountain of them now. Mind taking at least one off my hands? How you liking that music disc I gave you? Stupid me, thinking I could sell them. shower. What? It wasn't me! You've got the wrong girl! Never committed a crime in my life! You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but cool name. <laughs> 
Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. Oh, maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. Still from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sorta. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go on the run? Leave Midgard forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split the second I do! And then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal! Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. You'll get your key once I know I'm safe. Man, if I'd known he was Shinra... Well, lesson learned. Thanks, guys. You'll get your key once I know I'm safe. and hungry for fresh meat. So Oh, champ! Couldn't have picked a better time. This Kyrie chick totally flaked on her match, which means we're down a fighter, and we can't exactly pit the other guy against himself. What do you say? Mind taking her spot? I'll take it. Sweet! You're a real wall market hero, man. Crowd's gonna go wild when they see you.
Where's the girl, Kyrie? That thieving little pipsqueak. Guess who he's the guy she's running from. Kyrie's not coming. You'll have to make do with us. Whatever. I can roll with it. After all, you and me, we got unfinished business. In a shocking turn of events, our next bout is now a grudge match. Which of these two will claim victory in today's Angel Cup? Fighters, begin! So how'd it go? Well enough. If they're smart, they won't send anyone else. Really? Oh, that is so good to hear. Learn your lesson, girl? Totally. From now on, I only steal from the right people. That ain't the lesson. Oh, talk about a weight off my shoulders. Oh, I completely lost track of time. I'd better get going. Hold it. Uh, Grandma! Why are you here? You, young lady, are gonna hear about this later. Thank you for keeping her out of trouble. She say grandma? What? Did I forget to mention it to you? Kyrie is my granddaughter, my flesh and blood. See? We even have the same eyes. Kyrie, the key. You've kept them waiting long enough. Yeah, yeah. What's it for, anyway? Why do you guys want it? And how's that any of your business, young lady? Learn to wipe your own ass before you start rooting around in other people's shit. Ugh, Grandma, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. Me embarrass you, says the girl who steals from anyone. Even a thief needs principles, not to mention the courage of convictions to follow their conscience. Take it from me, the guardian angel of the slums. Wait a minute. You're the angel? And you three are avalanche. <sighs> There's a fire in you. I can see it flickering in your eyes. That same fire's in me too. The guardian angel of the slums, Avalanche. They're just names. We are who we choose to be. But you have to decide who that is and commit. 
Make the most of your time while you still have it. Right? <laughs> I hear Corneo's got secret rooms hidden in the sewers. More than even he knows if the rumors are true. That reminds me, someone spotted a tacky-looking door over by the Collapsed Expressway. If you're curious, there's another door that's got Cornero's emblem and everything on it. Right by the Angel's hideout. I hear Corneo's got secret rooms hidden in the sewers. More than even he knows if the rumors are true. I just don't want to be alone right now. Everything's gonna be alright. Don't hold back.
You asked for it. Ain't got nothing on me.
It's not gonna be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Mara? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to.
Everyone who got out ahead of us has probably moved on. So we're the stragglers, huh? Well, there's still space in the shelters for us. Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. There. Not too shabby now, is it? Why waste time crying when you could be doing something useful? Right. Plenty of work to do yet. Right. Plenty of work to do yet. This is bad. My good Merc! Have you heard the news? The Angel of the Slums stole Corneo's fortune and gave it to the people of Sector 7! Ha <laughs> ha! The hero that Midgar needs! That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm quitting the paper and going freelance! I'm going to write exclusively about our resident angel. As an independent, I may need to ask for your help again down the line. I'd appreciate any and all cooperation! A bandit queen with a heart of gold is exactly the sort of hero our fair city needs. What I wouldn't give to meet you, my angel. It's amazing. I've never felt so passionately about anything in my entire life. What I wouldn't give to meet you, my angel. Thank you. 